Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we're talking about exponents and we'll be covering the basics. So let's start with a few key terms. First of all, you'll see on the screen a larger number two and a smaller number three. Well, the larger number two is called our base and the smaller number three is called the exponent. And together they are often referred to as powers. So for example, here I could say two to the power of three. So you always say the base to the power of the exponent. Now there's a couple of key terms that you will hear in these contexts. The first one is squared and squared means to the power of two. Now it's directly connected with, you guessed it, a square. So you can see on the screen and one way to think about that is if I have, for example, two to the power of two, I would take that base two and I would say, okay, then I have to multiply two, two times, so two times two. Same thing, if I were to have five to the power of two, I would have five times five. Well, the reason we use squared is if you think about a square, it has two dimensions, length and width. And those dimensions are always the same because all of the lengths of the sides of the square are the same. So when we think about how to find maybe the area of a square, many of you might remember from previous lessons that we actually use the power of two to find that. So if one length of the square is seven inches, I would do seven squared or seven to the power of two to find the area of the square. So just making a few mathematical connections there to help you put some of these things in different uh, organizational places in your brain. So for cubed, we're gonna use similar logic, right? Cubed is the word we use to mean to the power of three. So actually the example on our screen, we said earlier is two to the power of three, or we might say two cubed. Now a cube, like you see on the screen, has three dimensions. So that's where we get that number three from. It has length, width, and height. So all of those put together would help us to find the volume of a cube. For example, if we did, uh, let's say the length of one side of our cube is again, seven inches, we would say, okay, to find the volume, I need to do seven cubed, which is seven times seven times seven. So that seven to the third power is directly related to the dimensions of cubes. So again, memorize those terms, squared and cubed, and maybe some of these additional math concepts tied in will help you to remember their meanings. So let's break it down. The exponent shows you how many times you should multiply the base by itself. So remember the base is the larger script number and the exponent is the smaller number above it. So you can see some examples here. If we have two to the fifth power, that would be two times two, times two, times two, times two. So there we go, we have five twos that we're multiplying together. If I had seven to the eighth power, I would multiply seven times seven, times seven, times seven, times seven, times seven, times seven, times seven. Times seven. Whew, more tedious to write it that way, right? That's a really long expression. Um, which is why we have things like exponents to help us simplify that idea into just seven to the eighth power. Now, I put this one on here purposefully because sometimes people will get a little mixed up on exponents. And they'll say two to the fifth and five squared because you see the same two numbers there, I think maybe they're the same. Well, we can take a look and see that they actually are quite different from each other. Two to the fifth, as you see on that top line, is the number two multiplied five times. And then five to five squared or five to the second power is just five multiplied by itself. Um, so two fives total, five times five. So one way when you're getting started with exponents to really make sure you get this is to write it out like this, right? To make sure that you have all the right information. Now to go along with that, I'll remind you that you don't multiply the number by the exponent. So sometimes folks will say, well, it's three to the fourth power and three times four is 12. Well, that's incorrect because we're not multiplying it by the exponent. The exponent tells us how many times to multiply that base by itself. 
So what we need to do is three times three times three times three. And that is the same as three to the fourth power. Now on the calculator, there are a couple of functions that you can use. You'll see on our blue TI-30XS calculator, which is the calculator you're allowed to use on the high school equivalency exam, such as the GED and HiSET. On that calculator, I have two buttons circled there. The first one has a little caret on it, and the other one says X to the second power, or X squared. So how I would use these is, for example, let's say I had eight squared. Well, I would type the number eight on my calculator, and then if I just hit that X squared button, it would automatically do the squared or to the second power on my eight, and then I could just hit enter or equals and get my answer. With the caret, that's really useful for higher exponents. So let's say I have nine to the 10th power. I can type in nine, hit my caret, and type in the number 10, and that's going to give me my answer for what nine to the 10th power is. Now you can do similar functions on a calculator, even on something like an iPhone. So you can see here, the iPhone calculator is very simple when you have it um, straight up and down like you probably usually use it. But if you turn the phone on its side, then you'll find there are a lot more functions you can use. All the ones circled are the ones that you might use for exponents. So I'd encourage you to try those out and test them. They have a couple extra functions or maybe more divided functions than what the blue calculator has. Um, and so all of those are useful in their different ways. I'd encourage you to check those out and try them um, and see how each one works for you. If you're working from home right now, it's a great idea to use your calculator on this sideways function because it'll help you to exper experiment with more and different options. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope that you learned something new about exponents. You can check out the Helms Academy by subscribing to our YouTube channel below, looking on Instagram and Facebook, or visiting us at helmsacademy.org.